So once you get that last screw out, things should start coming down. Um, you just got to pop this grommet out here. It just pops in and you should be able to just drop this whole entire housing down out of the way now. So there's your housing. So we'll just set that off to the side. And then what you got up in here, you should be able to see this like half, well, it's kind of hard to see here and I apologize again for moving the camera around so much, but you can see there's the, uh, the air director, which chooses uh, outside air or inside air that hangs down below the motor. So just be careful with this, but there's uh, a few screws on the motor itself. Um, this is like one here. There's one back there you can't quite see, and then there's one over here, up inside here. So you gotta get those three screws, eight millimeter again, and then the motor assembly should drop down. I'll go ahead and get those loosened up. Okay, so once you get those three screws, motor wants to come down. I was able to take the diffuser, the air clamshell looking thing here, and kind of just push it off to the side, and just kind of like gently pry the, uh, here and it came right down and out so I mean as you can see this one's greasy and dead it just decided it was gonna die so um, went out got the replacement right here so we're just gonna uh, pop this one back in and uh, I'll get the screws lined up and I'll check in with you in a second so the fitment of the new motor was the same. I just kind of was able to push this down and just kind of finagle this new one up in here. I'm going to line the uh, line the holes up with the screw holes. I'll get that bolted in and I'll check back in a second. All right, so I'm just getting the last one snugged up here on those three bolts on the new motor. And uh, we just got to finagle the, uh, the housing back in, in place here. Line up the holes, get that back in place. And I was told that this blend door, or mode door, or whatever fresh air door, needs to be towards the door, towards the passenger side door, when you get everything all final assembled. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's where mine was when I took it down, so that's where I'd put it back. Don't forget to pop your wiring grommet back into the hole in the housing. When you're putting things back together, just make sure that that little stub on the bottom of the uh, air door, blend door, doodad, goes in your hole down here. You can try to get your finger in there and just guide it in. All right, so getting that last back screw in, I was able to just kind of like pinch the screw between my fingers and, and just line it up and try to feel where it was and just give it a little bit of a turn just to get it started enough to hold it and then uh, just go ahead and get on it with your uh, your 8 millimeter socket with your little extension or your deep socket and just turn it with your fingers until it's finger tight and then just get on it with a ratchet and you should be good to go. Okay so I was definitely able to get it either way I took it off with the deep socket and put it back on with a little extension and the 8 millimeter so that back bolt it is possible to get in and out without having any kind of like special flexi yada 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 that other people are talking about in their video. You just got to make sure you get all the insulation out of the way up there. I find that putting that particular screw back in is harder than putting the back one back in because you have to get at that one, or at least I did with an actual wrench. I wasn't able to get a socket on it, so that's why I had the open end uh, 8 millimeter wrench. Uh, and then the last thing to do is just to uh, line up your actuator, put it back in, bolt that up. Just, uh, you know, you can reach up in there with your finger and just make sure that that air door is rotated all the way towards the uh, towards the passenger side door. Okay, I got that actuator bolted in. Plug your connection back in and uh, you should be all set to go. Just put your uh, Put your insulation back up in there, fold your carpet in, put your piece back on. Okay, I got mine's all running now and it's all hooked up, fans blowing good, carpet's tucked back in, side panels.
clip back into place. I'm just going to tuck my glove box in. Okay, glove box is back into place, and at this point in time, you should have nice cold or hot air if you're doing the job in the wintertime, and it broke in the wintertime, but uh, hope the video helped people out. If not, you know, go ahead and, and post one and uh, let people know how you did it. All right.